It's December 1st and a tough start to my December. Uh, no internet today, so I have to go somewhere to upload a video because I can't do it here. And my cell connection where I live is just not uh, good. Like it usually isn't even a connection. My video actually finished uploading, so I decided to hit this Walmart. I was basically driving around while it uploaded from my phone because it was taking too long at Starbucks. No Vader meditation chambers is a bit disappointing. That's what I was looking for here today. Looks like they got lots of rollback though. A bunch of the mechs just got revealed today and they're now gonna be $15 instead of 10. And they actually don't look like they are much different than these were, so. I found this on the end cap or whatever for $59. That's not terrible, but I just, don't need it. I'm no expert, but I don't think this is the same. This is cotton candy anymore. This is now a solid item. It's all like shriveled up. <laughs> God, it's a sad Christmas for cotton candy, apparently. Just found this totally random section of uh, Lego here. They also have new moon shoes, but uh, no three in ones. I was hoping maybe we'd find those $50 three in ones on here when I found Lego randomly, but nope. My Coles and we found this section and this is the sets that were really cheap. So I'm gonna scan them and hope they're really cheap. If they are, I'll guess them because they were already really good deals. Oh, I don't think it's on. I don't think it's working. We'll have to find another scanner. It's out of stock, but it still has the sale price online, which makes me a little bit more hopeful that we might get lucky. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's clearly on, just scan. They have a lot of black series at my GameStop and it is gonna take a lot of self-control to not buy most of these because most of these I don't have. These are the two I really, really want, but I also really, really don't want to spend $50 today. I'm gonna pass on these. I don't know why, I'm, I'm just gonna pass on them. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be the, the bigger man here today. So for Christmas, I was gonna get my parents air tags because they're going to Europe next year and they can use them in their suitcase. And then Target has these on clearance for like $10 each. I'm like, I don't even know if they'll use these for them, but like for 10 bucks, like, yeah. Just packed some MR shop orders and uh, I got this in the mail, by the way. A little gingerbread clone trooper, very nice. Gotta have that. But I got a big order in here with a lot of the foil packs for my Whatnot streams. Some of these might make their way on the MR shop, uh, but they'll first show up on Whatnot because it's a little bit easier for me to post them there. Um, but we got some U Wings in this one. Um, I'm sure a lot of U Wings, maybe only 10 actually. I definitely ordered more limited quantities. Okay, it's either 15 or 20. The best selling foil pack that I've had, of course, because. It's a good foil pack, obviously. Um, and the figure's only in the $60 set. And like for people that want multiple of these figures, like you're not buying multiple $60 sets for the most part. Like, it's just not something people want to do, obviously. Um, so yeah, I think there might be 80 of these in here. Um, I might stop pulling them out now because I'm pretty sure the rest of what's in here is that. No, maybe there's some more using. But basically because these are exclusive to not America, I import a bunch at once, which makes shipping really cheap. I keep some for myself because I want them for my own collection anyway. So it cuts down on that cost for me. It's a little tie interceptor action. Lego's supposed to be making another one of those. Oh, these ones are slick. The Jedi Starfighter, small but slick. Oh, the worst one, the uh, ATST Raider. But I know if I ever want to have a complete collection, gotta have it. On the docket for today, AKA Saturday is hopefully to get a vlog up tomorrow, but but also get this tie bomber review done because the new one's coming out in like less than a month. So I've kind of been slacking on it, need that one done. And then I also really got to get this Hulkbuster taken apart and sent off because it is just sitting here taking up space. I definitely need as much of that as I can get. I also am going to be able to get rid of my foosball table here because today we're going to my grandpa's to play poker. And when doing so, I'll be able to check out a real foosball table against my foosball table. Had to make a storage unit trip with eight uh, Imperial light cruisers and then some other things that I've gathered from Kohl's and uh, Costco in the last few weeks. So a lot more stuff going in. Like in the dining room yeah, or something. Probably. Okay, I'm a dolphin. Yeah, you, serve, you serve first. A goal already! So easy! Well, I just got scammed. In my Walgreens order, there are supposed to be six advent calendars. I bought these for a really good deal, $27 each, plus 10% cash back, plus 3% Apple cash. It was stupid cheap. I had to buy them. But inside, as you can see, we have one advent calendar and then we have four more advent calendars and notably at the bottom there are no more advent calendars so a total of five advent calendars instead of six i literally got scammed by walgreens and it was such a good deal i thought i was doing something great here but walgreens had to go and scam me and then they gave me 
free gifts instead of a six advent calendar, I guess. This must be an ad to buy more crap from them. Guy LaRoche contacts or something? I don't know, eye solution, uh, some vital proteins. This looks like something my grandma would put in her water 10 years ago. And then we got a fake uh, cologne or something. Just packed away the Hulk Buster for Coach Felder, getting this off and out of here. Uh, didn't get to take apart all of it, but uh, definitely tried to separate it by, by bags for him. So hopefully that's fine. And then we got a few extra things in there for us. So we'll get that off. And uh, one less thing in my life for the Hulk Buster now. So Corey and I are in Tampa to go to the Buccaneers game, huh? Yeah. Cause his mom gave us Buccaneers tickets for Christmas. Yeah. Christmas. However, on the drive over, the file first battle pack got leaked. So now I have to make a video in a church parking lot. I have two hours before the game starts, church parking lot video, and oh, hope that it is good. And like the audio is good and I can edit it on iMovie on my phone. I don't know, man, it's gonna suck. So here in the parking lot is uh, where I'm gonna record my file first battle pack leak video. It's gonna suck. Hey everyone, it's parking lot Ryan. Damn. I should probably my tripod. I gotta. I should keep a tripod in the car. Never know. Or do you? Can you hold this? Or is you gonna? Are you gonna fall over? That's good. <laughs> this is this is this is my current lighting setup. Corey's holding his mom's phone with the camera light, and then I got the battle pack image here. Got lights there, lights there, lights there. This is it's rough in here. <laughs> it's bad. What's up? Twenty dollars to park here in the church. Yeah, of course. There you go. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Have a great night. Wait, did you, were you recording? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even realize I was recording. That's funny. Okay, um, all right, we good? good. There's this really weird economy of people like using their driveways as parking lots and charging $20 for parking, like literally all the way up and down. So like for like the last couple blocks back, 20 bucks and everyone's kind of standing outside of their house charging for parking i am kind of curious how much closer you can get and still only pay 20 bucks like i don't know when the price goes up because it seems to be inelastic elastic i'm not sure which i feel like this should be 40 dollars or you feel like this is 40 dollars yeah this is like twice as good as what it was when it was 20 so i do i do agree with that this should be 40 dollar parking we're a little past people's parking lot uh driveways but we've now reached the 30 dollar marker so it's getting a bit more expensive Corey pointed out we've officially reached what? 50. 50 dollars. Yes. Not cheap anymore. Does the limo pay more or less? It's still one car, yeah. but it takes up like four spots. All right, we spent $42 on two pretzels, a bottle of water, soda, and popcorn. $42, bro. $42. Oh my gosh, Tom Brady. No, it's not. Where'd he go? And on the right. Yep. Oh, it's like, it's like you him off. Playing balloons. Yes. <laughs> Well, we got to see Tom. We got to see Tom Brady beat Tom Brady, and that was fun. Was that the first football game you ever been to? No. No. Why don't you go to another one? Oh, Jackson. That's right. Huh. Well, that was uh, an experience, and I want Tom Brady back now, really badly. So. Oh. Well, yesterday was great. The file first battle pack, unsurprisingly, misadvertises the way clone troopers will look in the set. I super glued the antenna to this guy to show how LEGO is advertising it versus how it will actually look in the set. 
plus the terrible looking prints. God, I just, it sucks. I wish they would just do things right and good and we wouldn't have problems and I could be excited about new sets again. Like I'm excited about the TIE Bomber, but the Five Battle Pack, which I should be excited about, I'm not because they just keep screwing things up and making them worse like this. <laughs> I ended up crashing after playing basketball and waking up at like 2 a.m. and now it's 4 a.m. So I've been trying to fix the boxes for the pictures of the 501st pack for my big uh, January 2023 breakdown. As you can see, there are so many sets to get through. <laughs> Just kidding, only five sets is a bit of a letdown. But I did learn a cool new trick called Perspective Warp. So you can see we now have a flat straight edge box versus uh what was and this one will be flat straight edge but what was like a curved weird angle of a box so this will help make my thumbnail look a little bit better it's almost noon now i finished my video uploaded it and now i got a few mnrshop.com orders to fulfill i got way more orders than i expected by the way last weekend in my vlog i shouted out mnrshop.com and then like just over the weekend i got a ton of orders i was like why am i getting so many orders and i was like Oh yeah, I said it in my vlog. It's Thursday and I realized I need to get on my project for the week, which is building the Republic Bricks Camino set. Uh, it's a lot of parts and it's gonna take me a while. So I cleared off my table and I'm gonna hopefully have a good time building. I really hope it's enjoyable because it's gonna be a long one. Before I do that, a little mail call. We got four New York, not New York, Santa Yodas for my Christmas whatnot stream. That's gonna be a big one with lots of Christmas figures. So I had to get in a few more Christmas figures here. We got a Christmas C-3PO from someone that loves my channel. Always love getting notes like that, so thank you. And then a uh, Santa Darth Maul, which is fantastic looking. I don't think I've ever owned one of these. I never bought this 2012 advent calendar at the time. It was just too expensive. All right, fellas, I got, I got a little pro tip for you. So as you know, I've been building the Republic Bricks Camino set and especially with custom sets or if it's a lego set uh that you bought used and you don't have numbered bags this is the thing to do this is what you do this is how you save your life because i would be losing my mind right now on like step 37 like where is this little piece where is that little piece i just cleaned up so much space by just skipping ahead and doing big bulk things that I can just attach when I get to that step. So by skipping ahead, I have hopefully saved myself a ton of potential headache. And yeah, this is just a, a building strategy for you that I would highly recommend picking up because it will save you so much stress by just clearing your space quite a bit here. So pro tip, and I still have parts on the ground. I'll just leave them there, honestly, because it's easier to just pick them up when I need them. Still grinding out this Republic Bricks build on Camino, and oh, where'd you go? I thought you said you wanted to be in. Oh, ah, Cam was like, I want to vlog tomorrow, so now tomorrow on December 10th, there will definitely be a vlog, right? Yep, there better be a vlog. I didn't hear any particular repercussions for no vlog. What's funny actually is yesterday the foosball table went on sale on Lego.com for 175, down from 250 already, so. That whole video apparently destroyed the foosball table. <laughs> uh, and yeah, more more Camino stuff. And oh man, this has been a heck of a build. There's so much to this. All right, I'm essentially finished with the RB uh, set here. I just had a couple missing pieces because it was a special order set for me. And so this is going to be something that will be finished hopefully early next week. And then I can get the review out. I was hoping to have a review out tomorrow, but the Farfers Battle Pack's coming in the middle tomorrow. So I'm going to do that anyway. It works out. It's fine. But most of what's done is done. And uh, now I can at least get my table back. That's the one thing I'm so looking forward to about having my own space in the near future is like not being limited to one workspace. Because when I'm doing like a big build like that, that takes me two days, that's like the only thing I can do for two days. So that's a improvement that's coming. To wrap up my Friday night, I'm gonna go to Kohl's. I have about $185 of Kohl's cash to spend. And I love that Kohl's is open late this time of year. So I kind of like going at night. The Kohl's Lego section is uh, pretty bad at this point. They do not have a lot of good sets at all. I genuinely don't know how I can spend $180 here. I'm gonna have to buy clothes. I, like none of these are appealing to me. It's Saturday and apparently my 501st battle pack was just delivered. Let's go check the mailbox. All right, so this came in the mail, but I'm gonna take a guess that my battle pack is not in that box. What is it out here? Oh, it's right under my nose. As you may imagine, I got this set thanks to a fan. 
And uh, usually that's a lot of the ways I get sets early when they aren't available in my area. So if you ever see new sets early and you're able to buy them and I don't already have them, uh, hit me with a DM on Instagram. I'm always interested and I usually uh, try to pay at least double retail to make it worth people's time that help me out. Oh my goodness, I just can't believe I have it in hands. I wasn't even thinking about that. It's still not that good. I don't like it that much. I'm not gonna buy that many, but I'm excited to make a video on it. It's just not as cool as the first one. So my hope is to do a live stream building both battle packs in the same live stream. However, I realized Realized I don't have any file first battle packs I can just open here. I think I took them all to my storage unit. Oh, uh, I just got really excited and thought these were they are already opened and definitely cannibalized for minifigs. Maybe there's another one behind here. Probably not. I don't see a battle pack. That is tough, man. All the local stores, of course, are sold out because they're retiring at the end of the year, the Christmas rush, and uh, so they don't have any left. Uh, no 501st sets in here either. I guess I do have to go to the storage unit to uh, pick up a battle pack. I spent way too long working on it, but my thumbnail for the live stream is ready. I put up a poll so people can answer the poll. And uh, yeah, the hype begins. Now I really got to go get the other battle pack that I can open. Because these ones, you might notice I have some. These are like, you know, the first one I got. And then the last one I bought, I'm not going to open. Um, so I got to go get one that I can actually open and not feel bad about it. So this is everything I'm bringing. I brought the Maersk, the Harry Potter ship. We got an Imperial Light Cruiser and that. Um, basically, I decided I haven't built these in like the three years that I've had them. So I may as well put them in storage until I decide I want to. So I'm going to need one of these. This should get the job done for my comparison. Easy peasy. I was not expecting this package today. This is an exciting one. So Whatnot back in October did an exclusive minifigure. And for Christmas... They have made another custom exclusive minifigure. This one, the Holiday Trooper. So I got, I think, 15 that I'm supposed to sell. And I, I get to keep one this time. I don't have to go buy one. Where'd it go? There's the Mr. Bones. And there's our Holiday Trooper. So now I've got both. Just about ready to go live here. Got everything set up. Got sets already unbagged. I should probably unbag the other one too. And we will be good to go for this uh, awesome live build. The first battle pack, basically a Just sequel. doing an editing check on my battle pack review and doing some color fixing as well so that it looks a little bit better, but it's for all intents and purposes done. I'm just checking through it. It's 3 a.m. and I'm still grinding out this 501st battle pack comparison. It's insane. I need to be up at like 10 tomorrow. This is bad. I should probably end this vlog here because I got big things to work on next week. So if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button for the channel. Please subscribe. We're on that grind to 100K and I'll see you next week. Peace out.